Okay, uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to subtract integers. And uh, it's very important that before you start this lesson that you have already gotten down how to add integers, which was the previous lesson. Okay, for subtraction, um, as a teacher you have many options of how to teach this. You could either start with the addition rules and then you could go to the subtraction rules. But I don't tend to like to teach it that way. And here's the deal. If I had 3 minus 2. This is positive and this is positive. Is that rule number 1 or is that rule number 2? So most people would look and say, well, they're the same color, so it's rule number 1. But if you go back and look at rule number 1 again, what we learned yesterday or the previous lesson, is rule number 1 says when adding two numbers, and we're not adding there, what we're doing here is subtracting. So it's not rule number one. So then you're like, well, then it's rule number two. And then if you read rule number two, it says when adding two numbers, well, you're adding again. So subtraction doesn't follow rule one or rule two. What we're going to have to do is make up some uh, either some new rules for this or turn this into an addition problem. If you go all the way back to the first lesson that I taught you, which was order of operations, I taught you that subtraction is really just addition with negatives. So let's uh, spend a few minutes talking about that concept. If I had 3 minus 2, what does it equal? Well, obviously it equals 1. But there's another way to do this problem. 3 minus 2, this number is positive, this number was positive, and subtraction is really adding the opposite. 3 minus 2 is 1. So if I make up a, if I make an, another way of doing this problem up, it better equal 1, right? What I want you to do is change the subtraction to addition. This ch chip was yellow, so now it becomes red. And let me show you that visually for a few minutes here. So if you had 3 minus 2, you would start off with three yellow chips and you would have two more yellow chips but in this case you're not adding them you are subtracting them and so when you do that this is what I want you to do for now on when you have a subtraction problem for now on I want you to take the second number and I want you to flip it Okay, I want you to flip it so that if I flip it, this problem now becomes three yellows. And once I flip it, the beauty of this is now it becomes an addition problem. Plus, if I flip those chips, what do they flip to? Well, if I flip their color, now they're red, right? And when I flip them, so now it becomes 3 plus a negative 2. Now, what I said a minute ago, 3 minus 2 equals 1. So if I make up another way of doing this, it better equal 1. 3 minus 2, I take the second number and I flip it, and it becomes an addition problem. And when I do that, watch the beauty of this. Now it's an addition problem. So I have a yellow chip and a red chip they make zero. I have a yellow chip and a red chip. They make zero. I have one yellow left. So this is one also. Now that's a lot of uh, writing there to understand that. So I'm going to dumb it way down for us. Okay. So give me a second here. This is all you're going to be doing. If I'm adding, or I'm sorry, if I'm subtracting two numbers, three minus, or negative two minus three this is what you're going to do. You're going to leave the first number alone. It stays red. You're going to figure out what color was this number. It was positive. It was yellow, right? This was y yellow. To change subtraction to addition, you change the subtraction time to addition. You say, what color was these chips? These were yellow chips, so now they're red chips. And from there, all you have to do is do what I've taught you in the previous chapter, or the lesson, which was follow your rules. Two red chips, three red more chip, three more red chips, 
makes five red chips. So my answer is negative five. Why do I love this so much? If I don't teach you that subtraction is adding the opposite, then I have to teach you four new rules. So the question you have to ask yourself is, would you rather learn four new rules or would you rather learn how to change subtraction to addition by changing the color of the second number? If I teach you how to add, if I teach you to change subtraction to addition, you don't have to learn any new rules. If I don't teach you that, then you have to learn actually four new rules for subtraction. So I really do think long term this is the best me method um, to understanding this. Okay? So on every one of these problems, that's what we're going to do. It's a subtraction problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is leave the first number alone. It was yellow, so it stays yellow. It's a subtraction sign, so now it's an addition sign. These were red chips. It was negative. So now they, when you flip them, they become yellow chips. Now I follow my rules. Yellow chips plus yellow chips. That's rule number one. Rule number one says to add. 12 plus 7 is 19. I love this method because all you had to do was change that to addition, flip the color of the second number, and follow the rules that you already know. Not hard at all. So let's do another example. Example two. First things first, rule one or rule two? Well, most of you hopefully are screaming out, there is no rules right now because that's a subtraction problem. If you looked at this and you said, well, that's red chips plus red chips, so that's rule number one, you'd be wrong. Because rule number one and rule number two are only dealing with addition, and this is a subtraction problem. So what do we do with subtraction? We rewrite it as an addition problem. So this becomes negative eight. The first number doesn't get changed. Subtraction becomes addition. This was a negative 12. This was 12 red chips. So when I flip them, they become 12 yellow chips. So now I have negative 8 plus 12. I know that's rule number 2 because they're different signs. Keyword is subtract. Negative 8 plus 12. Subtract 12 minus 8. It's 4. Is it positive 4 or negative 4? It is positive 4 because I had more yellow chips than red chips. Pretty easy. Next example. Negative 12 minus 15. All I'm going to do here is rewrite this as an addition problem. So this is negative 12. First number doesn't get changed. Change subtraction to addition. It was a positive... 15, it was 15 yellow chips, so now it's 15 red chips. Follow my rules. Same sign or different signs. Red chips and red chips, that's rule number one. And the keyword is add. So do what it says, add them. Negative 12 plus negative 15, 12 plus 15 is 27. Red chips plus red chips make more red chips, so it's negative 27. All right, example four. It's a subtraction problem, so rewrite it as an addition problem. Leave the first number alone. Change subtraction to addition. These were negative, so now it becomes positive. That's rule number one, which is add. 17 plus 12 is 29, 29 yellow chips. Not hard at all. Next one with decimals. A lot of people mess these up, but they're actually not that bad. Leave the first number alone, so it's negative 1.5. Change subtraction to addition. It was negative, so now it's positive. They're different colors, so that's rule two. Rule number two says subtract, so my keyword is subtract. $1.70 minus $1.50 is 20 cents, so 0.2. What color are what color is my answer? Do I have more red chips or more yellow chips? I had more yellow chips, so it's positive. Next problem. 1.25 divided by I'm sorry, 1.25 minus 7.5. Well, 
leave the first number alone. Change subtraction to addition. This was positive, so now it's negative. Different colors, different signs, so that's rule number two. Rule two says to subtract. 750 minus $1.25 is 625. Hopefully you understand that that's actually not the answer because you have to be careful with the color. I had 7.5 red chips and 1.25 yellow chips. When I make my zero pairs, what am I going to have left over? Yellow, ch I'm sorry, red chips. So it's negative 6.25. For our final example, when you have multiple numbers being uh, added and subtracted together, what you want to do is you want to change all the subtraction problems into addition problems. So there's a subtraction sign. Leave the first number alone. That was minus, so now it's plus. It was a positive 5, so now it's a negative 5. I don't change the negative 3 because it's addition. I don't want to rewrite it as a subtraction problem because then I'd have to rewrite it as an addition problem right afterwards. So leave that number alone. It's already addition. I like addition. I don't like subtraction. This is a subtraction problem, so I need to rewrite it as an addition. Change subtraction to addition. It was positive, so now it's negative. Do this problem. Well, I've got red chips plus red chips plus red chips plus red chips. Red plus red plus red plus red makes a whole bunch of reds. So that's rule number one, which is add. And I just add them all up. Let's see, that's 12. Uh, let's see, 12 plus 12 is 24. 25 to 6, 27. 27 red chips, which is negative 27. And there you have it. Subtraction with integers. The key to this is there are no rules. Change subtraction to addition by flipping the sign of the second number. If you get that down, it's no harder than addition. Good luck.